my signature styles, dribble moves, dunk package, jump shot, scoring moves, everything in this video. Drop a like, we're getting straight into it. This is what you guys ask me for every single stream. So here we go. So first up, the dribble style, I use Darius Garland. In my opinion, this gives you the cleanest bursts out of multiple different dribble moves. It's the best for just speed boosting, whether it's running opposite ball hand, whether it's running same side ball hand, I think it's the absolute best dribble style in terms of just speed boosting cleanly on the game. Signature size up, Trey Young. You could switch hands very quickly. It's not, you know, Steve Francis is definitely probably better, but obviously that requires a much higher ball handle rating and you need to hit the necessary rep to unlock it. But Trey Young, you know, you can also combo things and throw people off so you can switch hands, pop, pop, and then go. Then you can start to use that and incorporate it into doing other dribble moves as well. Regular combo breakdown, Derek Rose. If you let the whole animation play out, it does all this. I don't use this that often, but you can speed boost pretty cleanly out of this. You know, just if you time it correctly, and you can also use it to, you know, chain things together and speed boost out of it. I don't go to it that often, but I use D-Rose. Aggressive combo breakdown, John ja Morant. A lot of people used it last year, right? You don't really want to let the whole thing play out, but just this, and then you can go back the other way. You know, it's a good way to shift the defender. You can put the tray, you know, combo the Trey Young into it. So when you do the aggressive, you just switch hands and go the other way. Another thing you do with the Java Rant is once you shift it this way, you could just speed boost out of it and run, you know, long run it to the side. But I definitely use it to try to shift people. You can whip the behind the back out of it, the escape back the other way, the behind the back. It's a nice little way to just get the ball rolling and get the defender shifting, and then you could use his momentum against him. Escape move, Steph Curry. So it gives you a nice launch to the side and then that quick little combo dribble. If you combine it with the jaw aggressive breakdown, you can really just start shifting side to side on people and it's, you know, it's not many buttons to press. It's just RT and flicking the right stick up and then flicking it to the side to do the escape. Very, very easy, you know, and again, it's just a way to shift the opponent into a screen or get them shifting one way. So then you could attack the basket going the other way, but very easy to do and very effective. Next up, John Morant combo moves. It's a nice way to just go tween cross and sometimes even just glitch in front of the opponent, but you can combo it with the, you know, you can do the combo moves into the behind the back. You can do the combo moves into the snatch back, the combo moves into the escape. There's a bunch of different ways you can combo this, but it's a nice way to just kind of potentially get a rim run off of it too. If you, it, depending on where the defender is positioned, you can almost kind of slide past them and then get to the basket for a dunk as well. All right, crossover. I've Tried LaMelo Ball, Chris Paul, Lonzo Ball, Kyrie. None of them are really, really super great, but this is a decent little cross launch to your other hand. They all kind of are similar. Nothing is nearly as effective as last year was with the John Wall or the Kobe Bryant. But, you know, like I said, I've been experimenting between a few of them. I don't love any of them. Right now I have uh, LaMelo Ball, like I said but I kind of change this every day and keep switching it up. But overall, it's decent. It's a decent cross launch, but nowhere near as good as 2K24. We just, I haven't found one that I think is really as good as anything on 24, but these are decent in terms of trying to get into that, into that scoring position, get that crossover to get in front of the defender and then get a little standing dunk. Behind the back, Darius Garland. It's just a really nice one that can whip it. To the other side and you can start to combo it with that steph curry escape that job Morant aggressive breakdown and it just kind of launches you to the side back the other way you can speed boost out of it and then the running behind the back is a little slow if you time it correctly and set the defender up it's decent but like i said it's kind of slow i don't have it for the running behind the back i have it more for the standing behind the back right off the snatch you can just whip it to the side like i said i don't use it for the running one i use it more for the standing it just whips it to the side creates a decent amount of space and then you can start to combo that with other dribble moves you know and you start to really start to shift people and get people moving spin move terry rozier i got this from Steezo, but basically the main reason you have it on is because you're looking to do that spin back out of it to do that spin move you got to have on terry rozier very effective you know you stop on a dime create space the defender's playing the rim run you spin back and then you, you get a shot off or you can shift out of that spin move and and long run it that's the i just have it on because Stizo had it on and he showed that it's the biggest spin back you can do on the game right now so that rosier spin move is what we have hesitation darius garland to me it's a very quick and, and your hesitation matters in terms of just speed boosting out of moves but also obviously if you know you have the ball in your right hand you want to do a hezzy and just run that garland seems to be very quick and also it just helps speed boosting out of other moves as well 
So that Darius Garland Hezzy is the one I'm using. Moving step back, I have on Luca. That's this quick little snatch back here. Now, Zach Levine, some people say it creates more space. Right now I'm using Luca. You know, out of the behind the back, out of the escape. If you're, you know, boom, rim run, snatch back, get your shot off. I've used both. Right now I'm using Luca, but I go back and forth. Pick the one that you like better. Triple threat style. Best one's gonna be Kobe Bryant. Right now I have on Michael Jordan. You can do that little one hand pump fake. The jabs, the cross jab step is pretty decent. The same side jab step is kind of just small and quick. But I definitely want you unlock Kobe Bryant triple threat style. You're gonna want to put on Kobe. But for now, I have on Jordan. It's pretty similar. It's not. It's not as good as Kobe. So if you catch the ball on the triple threat, you know you can cross jab, spin move, snatch back, combo, combo, snatch, combo. Like you can, you can really start to mix these moves together and that's when they really start to become effective next let's get into the jump shot i use cam thomas base 12 percent sexton 88 percent oscar a plus speed a plus height a minus immunity c plus timing stability i have it on three quarter speed right now now when i first started playing this game i was playing on a busted controller and my x button would stick when I would shoot. So I kept turning this down to go slower and slower. Now you see this, the shot is so fast that even on zero fourth speed, it's still an A plus. But I have it back up to three quarter speed now that I have a working controller and a working shot button and it feels good to me. One thing I would say is really start to lab up rhythm shooting. Rhythm shooting really seems to help regardless of the jump shot that you have on. But even with button shooting, I really do like the Cam Thomas base. That's what most comp guards are using. Now let's get into the scoring moves. I use Austin Reeves layup because it's the best package that I unlock with my build that I'm currently using. We'll get into the dunk styles and, and dunk animations in just a second. Ja Morant go-to shot. You can do this out of the triple threat. You just hold up and it gives you a nice tween cross it is glitchy and can put you in front of the defender but be careful if that ball hits the opponent's legs you'll either get a bobble animation or you'll turn it over now doing it on the other hand on your non shooting hand it is a bit slower because he does a cross and then he does it and it's just not as fast so you want to have it in your shooting hand and pop pop now like i said you can catch people off guard because you can catch it in the triple threat and just hold up and instantly do it and then get to the rack but like I said, be careful of those bump steals. It's kind of like the Westbrook from a few years ago, but nowhere near as overpowered. I use Pro 2 Dribble Pull Up. I think it's really good for running fades to either side. And I think it's really good if you like to shoot front fades, right? The center's playing low, you come off the screen and you just shoot that little pull up at the free throw line or in the mid range somewhere. Pro 2 is really good. It also has a good animation running to the right, as I said. Front fade, side fade, whatever it is. That was a little front fade to the right. Side fade looks good too. Running back fade. Pro 2 overall, I think has, it, it probably has the best overall package of fade animations on the game. Spin jumper is pro. It's a nice one to stop on a dime, plant and spin back and be able to create separation from the defender. Now you can use it in situations, you know, defenders running back, playing the rim run, stop on a dime, spin move back, knock down a little spin shot midi. It's a great animation, honestly, especially for those of you that have high mid-range builds, very, very effective in the mid-range. Hop jumper Kyle Lowry, and I don't really use it to shoot hop jumpers. I use it more for this animation right here, this step back, right? I'm running here, step back, step back. You could combo out of that, right? They're playing the rim run, step back, boom, shot. All right, so you can use it as a way to create separation to get your three ball off. Very effective. You see it almost puts you from the free throw line back to the three point line. So again, I use it for a different reason. I don't use it to shoot the hop jumper. I use it to add that dribble move into my arsenal. Post fade is Kevin Durant, post hook normal, post hop shot Austin Rivers, and then motion style Alex Caruso is the best for small guards in terms of moving fast around the court. Last but not least, my dunk packages. Let's get into it, man. Off of two feet, the only ones I use are baseline reverses off two, baseline clutch reverses, windmill, baseline reverses, and then all the contact dunks, of course. One foot moving dunks. Athletic hangs off one, still very good. I use baseline reverses off one, still very good. I use straight arm tomahawks, very expensive, requires a 95 driving dunk, but if you can get it, definitely worth it. I have some park dunks on just for fun, but then contact dunks, everything I can get, of course. 
Standing dunks, I have on both one hand under basket regulars and two hand under basket regulars. Even on a 6'3", I get a lot of standing dunks. Signature dunks, right now I use Malik Monk. Very, very good package, only requiring an 80 driving dunk and a 70 vertical. When I hit starter four, I will put on Michael Jordan and I'll test that out again. Michael Jordan was my favorite dunk package in 2K24. So if it's good again on this game, I'm sure I'll have it on as well. But right now all I use is Malik Monk in terms of NBA player dunks. Alley-oops, I got them all on. Alley oop contact dunks got them all on. I put on the you know the park alley oops too, if you know just to liven things up and have some fun. So you can put those on if you want. But those are my dunk package. Very simple, very effective, hard to get blocked, good for meter dunking. But if you want to see all these moves in action against some of the best players in the world, click that video on the screen right there. That's Cop Proem. We're back in there again.